As expected, Episode 4 of the Rosario Dawson-led Disney Plus series was packed with lightsaber fight sequences, but what fans weren't prepared for was where the episode left Ahsoka Tano. Before the credits rolled, Ahsoka revisited the high-stakes world between worlds from the Star Wars Rebels animated series, a location non-animation fans need to know about before Episode 5 and beyond. After being defeated by Balan Skull, Episode 4 of Ahsoka ended with Ahsoka Tano waking upside down on an illuminated, translucent path. Known as the World Between Worlds, Star Wars describes this dimension as collections of pathways and doors between time and space. The Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, the Visual Dictionary also refers to it as the Virgin Scatter and it was visualized in the Sacred Jedi texts on Arsh 2. It's here in this realm that Ahsoka hears a familiar voice and turns to see her former master, Anakin Skywalker. But while Anakin came as a surprise to Ahsoka, she's been to this place before. In Season 4 of Star Wars Rebels, Ahsoka showrunner Dave Filoni introduced the world between worlds when Ezra Bridger used the Force to open a portal through a painting of the Mortis gods, the father, the daughter, and the son. Once Ezra finds himself in this strange, suspended space, he hears the voices of various Star Wars characters and can even see and access certain events in time through portals. Atop one particular portal was the Comba bird, Morai, who is associated with the daughter and has followed Ahsoka since the three-episode Mortis arc in Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Upon looking into the portal, Ezra sees Ahsoka fighting Darth Vader from Twilight of the Apprentice in Rebels Season 2. Right before Vader kills Ahsoka, Ezra reaches into the portal and pulls her into the world between worlds, saving her life. As the two explore the world between worlds, Ezra is actually tempted to save his master, Keenan Jarrus, the father of Hera Syndulla's son, Jason, through a different portal. However, Ahsoka is able to convince him otherwise. At this time, Emperor Palpatine was also trying to access the world between worlds for its capabilities and projected blue energy into the realm to drag Ezra to him. Ahsoka was able to stop Palpatine's attack, preventing him from ultimately entering the dimension. Now that Ahsoka is in the world between worlds again, she has the ability to observe and enter different points in time. While this opens up the potential for Star Wars flashbacks and live-action versions of animated sequences, it may also allow Ahsoka to access the galaxy where Sabine is being taken and where Thrawn and Ezra are trapped. In Episode 4, Balan Skull destroys the map to this other galaxy in order to prevent anyone from following him, Shin Hattie, and Morgan Elsbeth. But in the world between worlds, Ahsoka doesn't need a map, she just needs a portal. This would be similar to what Ezra and the Rebels crew experienced in Season 4 when, with help from Loth Wolves and their bond to the world between worlds, they were transported from one part of Lothal to another in a moment. Perhaps Ahsoka will be able to transport herself to this new galaxy in the same manner. It is also possible that Dave Filoni revisits the Mortis lore he established in the Clone Wars, its connection to Ahsoka and Anakin, and what it means for Star Wars moving forward.